just when you thought it was safe to go in the water at Victoria's Ogden Point Breakwater, a seagull-eating octopus appears. The media attention is crazy. The media attention is crazy. I can honestly say I haven't gotten much sleep lately. It's a little stressful. Ginger spotted a seagull acting rather strangely. And it appeared as though he was pecking something under the water. Under the water? That's not normal. And that's when we saw the octopus. That's not that's when the fight became volatile. It was violent. It was a really violent struggle. That's not normal. Seagulls being the scavengers that they are. There was an entire flock. There was an entire flock. There was an entire flock overhead. That's not normal. So they're overhead screeching and crying out. And once the octopus, the octopus, the octopus finally killed the seagull. Um, he just moved it sunk to the bottom of the ocean and it was like it had never happened. That's not normal. But the entire process from start to finish was 53 seconds. And in those 53 seconds, Ginger snapped off four photographs. And I thought they'd be fun, so I posted them on Facebook. Posted them on Facebook. That's not normal. Posted them on Facebook. Friends and family had taken them and forwarded and forwarded and forwarded, forwarded and forwarded and forwarded. That's not normal. Was that if you Google octopus and bird, octopus and bird? That's not normal. My photos are the first thing that come up. It's just become insanity. That's not normal. I have been interviewed by CBC Radio now. There was an entire flock been interviewed by the Times column. Seagulls being the scavengers that they are. Check news with the Canadian press. My photos are the first thing that come up with Global BC and yourself. I've been contacted by Parks Canada, who want the naturalists aboard the BC ferries to be able to tell the story. That's not normal. I've been contacted by the Vancouver Aquarium. I've been working with the Sydney Ocean Discovery Centre. Um, it's, it's been really incredible. What I thought was the culmination of all the coverage was being contacted by BBC Wildlife. It's just become insanity. That's not normal.